add a plane to the default scene. If you've got a if you've got a cube in there, you're gonna to have to get rid of that. I'll move my plane down to somewhere central. And I'm just gonna resize that. Now I know that my uh, texture that I created was a quad, that was four elements. And so rather than have a dimension of two in the X, I'm gonna make it um, 10 meters long and I'm going to make it two meters wide so we're going to get a length of pavement looking like that so if we now split the view if I get my cursor so split the area N and T to get rid of all that visual noise okay and I'm going to go into my UV image editor I'm going to open up the tileable texture that I've just created which is called uh, paving set there we go open that up okay and that's the paving set that I just created so now on the left hand side here um, I'm just going to actually divide this up so that I can use each of those four paving sets in the right dimension. So if we go to the overhead view of this and hit tab, um, if each of these paving elements was one meter, then what we would get are two paving elements across and so we get one paving element across and five along its length. So I'm going to hit control R and I'm just going to move the mouse wheel so I've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five blocks across. So if I hit that, now hit A twice to select everything and U to unwrap that. Now at the moment what I've got is all of them mapped onto that image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to map one of these rectangles onto the image and it will tile the rest for me. So I'm going to scale X I'm going to scale X and just make that exactly one block in width. You'll notice down here that I've got some black lines. I probably should have um, actually merged those layers down before I exported the PNG file but we'll see how it looks in a minute. So I've done the UV mapping and you'll see that I've got one which is mapped and then these will all be repeated. If I didn't want this to be repeated what I'd have to do is I'd have to take these and map them onto some very small area down here so that they were just a plain colour. We're just, we're just going to see what it looks like now. So if I go back into the 3D view, go to the camera view, shift F just to fly that around a little bit. There we go. There's a bit of lighting on there so I'm going to render that and we've got nothing. So why have we got nothing? We've got nothing because we haven't actually told it that we're going to use this UV mapped material on our plane. So go to cycles. We've got our plane we can go back to object mode. We're going to add a new material to that and instead of the colour here we can instead of using the node editor we'll just do this quickly image texture and then I can select the image texture which is the paving set and then the vector I'm going to use the UV vector so I'm going to say use what I've mapped here on that image to map it onto this. So now when I render we've got something that looks pretty good. It's still, you'll notice it still looks like um, it repeats a little bit but from a distance it doesn't look too bad at all. And you can have a play around with that to get some kind of photorealistic um, textures mapped onto your models to give you something that looks pretty good.